All right, so we're gonna work through the element versus compound worksheet. I'm gonna do a couple examples for you here. So if you don't have it open, please open up Classroom and look at your assignment. And up on the top right should be one that has your name on it. It's your copy, open that one. And when you open it, it'll bring up something like this. It may take a minute for the graphics to turn on, but it's there. All right, so let's get started. I'm gonna do the first two for you here. So it says each circle represents an atom and each different pattern represents a different kind of atom. If two atoms are touching, then they are chemically bonded. Complete the chart below. All right, so let's look at our first box. I have three circles, so those are three different, those are three atoms, but they each have the same pattern, which means they are the same element. They are the same thing on the periodic table. So if I was to count my atoms, I have one, two, and three. That's how many circles you have. If I was to determine how many different elements I have, they each have the same pattern, so they are all the same element, so I actually only have one element. Molecules would be the same atoms bonded together, and I don't have any of them because none of them are touching. And compounds would be two different elements bonded together, which I don't have. So I have zero of those. A mixture would be of different mixtures of different atoms. And I only have one kind and one element. So no, this would not be a mixture. Okay. Let's look at the second one. As well as type of atoms. Now, you're going to count how many atoms I have. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and a nine. I actually have nine atoms there. How many elements, different elements do I have? Well, how many different patterns do I have? I have one, two, and three. I have actually three different elements in this group. And then molecules would be the same ones bonded together. So these two are different patterns, so this would not be a molecule. This would not be a molecule. This is all by itself, so it's just an element. So I actually have zero molecules there. And then compounds, how many do I have of different atoms bonded together? Well, how many compounds do I have? I only have, I have this one, this one, and this one, but I only have one kind, because they're all the same. So I will put in one type. So you, in the compounds, you're just gonna put how many different types of compounds you have. And then is this a mixture of different elements? And this one would be yes, because we have all different patterns. So you're gonna continue on with each square, answering those questions all the way through. It's one page. If you have any questions, please get a hold of me.